<sighs> What's going on, y'all? Psycho Pacino. I want to talk about this cop and this girl. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all know what video I'm talking about, too. I think it's very unfortunate that that girl had to go through what she went through. Man, fuck that police, man. Fuck the police, man. You know what I mean? It's fucked up, yo. yo I wish that police was in front of me. Be out of the I stabbed that niggas, yo. Man, fuck, man. Fuck all the police, man. Fuck this shit. Fuck all these crackers, man. Get the fuck out of here. Check this out, man. For real. All, all bullshit aside. The officer was a little bit aggressive. <sighs> Let's be honest here, man. We've been to school. We've done. We, we we've had classes. We've all been to middle school, high school, elementary. Come on, man. When the police officers called to your classroom. Something is really wrong, right? I mean, you know, teacher said leave the classroom or whatever. Disobeying the teacher, right? And I'm not sure. I think the principal was called. I'm not sure. So I give or take. Let's just say the police, the principal wasn't called. They felt that the next option was to call a police officer. You got to really ask yourself also. If there's a police officer in the school, I'm pretty sure they have school security. They decided to not call police security. They call police to the classroom. Am I the only one that's looking at this like, why is the police officer called? Why? Are we going to question that this girl may be a nuisance? We have yet to hear from our parents. Does she even have parents? Where is her parents? In this case, we don't even question where's her mom, where's her dad? Well, who's her father? Who's the... Who's the mother? Cause she have a grandmother, grand, uh, grandfather, uncle, aunt, sister, brother. Nah, just that. You know what? It's fucked up what he did to her. And she's a girl, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Did you hear her holler? Did she say ouch? Did she scream? Did she yell for help? Did she say I can't breathe? Did she say that? Eric Garner said he couldn't breathe. He died. What did that girl say? If I can remember, you could hear a pin drop in that classroom. It was so quiet. Let's be honest here. The girl wasn't even hurt. I'm pretty sure she went home without a scratch on and we crying about this. Shout out to Tommy Sotomayor. In the last three months, four stories. And one of them he reported that I sent to him. Two mothers, dead kids in the refrigerator. In the freezer, my, my bad. Two kids burnt alive in their home. Irresponsibility for the kids being burnt alive in their home. Mother's not home. And y'all remain silent. But hey. This fucking girl just... This fucking girl, man. Is, we got to march for this fucking girl. I put my hat on, man. This... this I find it weird, man. And you got all these big name pro black people. And, and I'm going to call out names. You got the chick on the Boyce Watkins uh, channel. And, and granted, I haven't seen your video. But it's a chick on there who's a half breed. Nothing against a half breed, but I find it weird that it's a half breed with putting emphasis on the fact that it was a white officer. That's weird to me. She's mixed. 
But, you know, I have no problem with mixed people claiming to be black. The problem is that everyone should have a problem with it. I shouldn't have a problem with it. Everyone should. She's mixed. And this girl putting emphasis on the fact of the white officer and blah, 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 blah. And then she has a problem with other people in the African, African-American community that has a problem with agreeing with the fact that they don't have a problem with what happened. If the girl died, I think that would be inappropriate. If the girl was harmed or hurt or she actually suffered any broken bones or ribs or that's yeah, of course that's fucked up. I think it was a bit aggressive. I agree to that. But let's be honest here. Am I going to lose sleep over the fact that this girl hasn't said a word and we talking about it like it was us? And let me address something because some chick got on my fucking page today on Facebook. I said, what if that was your son? First off, my son goes to a charter school. My son is well respected in the school and he respects his teachers. My son would never be in the classroom being disrespectful to his teachers. My son has ease and that's his. I don't have to worry about that. Now, granted, my son might do something wrong one day and I get it, but the way I'm raising my son, it's safe. It's a safe assumption that my son, if my son is fucked with by the police, he's really been fucked with and he's done anything wrong because my son is being raised right from wrong. I don't know about you. I ain't worried about my son being folded up in a fucking desk and manhandled. I'm raising my son to be respectful and to respect authority because whether we like it or not, this is authority. You might not like the fact it's a white officer because I know if it was a black officer, well, none of y'all give a fuck. And I don't. 